Hello guys, welcome back for another video. Today's video is a really like dope sit down, so I would suggest to get like a drink, get a snack, let's hang out, because we're gonna talk about pretty much manifestations, and if you don't believe heavily in manifestation, then this is not the video for you, but I wanted to say right in the beginning of this video that I have everything I have because of the power of manifestation. Um, once I started tapping into that and started practicing it, was when my life completely changed and did like a full 180. So I'm going to be talking about like my 2021 manifestations, all the things that I manifested for this year that came true. I'm gonna give you guys story times of each thing because I really want you guys to believe heavily in this. And if you're kind of in like a weird place in your life where maybe you need like more guidance, you feel like you're in a stagnant place, you feel like maybe your life isn't going the way you want it to, that maybe this video will help you and guide you in a better direction so that you can manifest things the same way I did and get everything you've ever wanted and ever desired because I do believe that when you manifest things, it will happen for you. And whatever you manifest that doesn't happen for you is because it was never meant to happen for you. So it's usually one or the other, um, but we're gonna get into it today and I'm so excited. I have a whole list on my phone of everything that I'm going to be talking about. It's going to be down to material items. It's gonna be mental manifestations and spiritual ones. So let's just get into it. I also wanted to say thank you so much, BetterHelp, for sponsoring today's video. We will get into that later, but I wanted to give them a shout out right in the beginning don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and let's just get into the video all right the first thing that i want to talk about um is the most obvious thing that i manifested this year and it's my apartment um this is going to be a story for you guys because it is just insane little story time the last time i did this video it was in my last apartment i don't remember what the video was called but i believe it was something similar to this video and I told you guys that my last apartment was my dream apartment. I didn't want to live anywhere else. It was the apartment for me. I could not have been more honest in that moment, but a lot of things transpired during quarantine this year. So when my lease was up for renewal, um, I decided that I wanted a garage. And at my last apartment, I genuinely could not get a garage. They told me in an email that if I wanted to have a garage spot, then I had to move into a different building to access a garage, which was kind of annoying because I'm thinking, why am I hiring a moving company just to move across the street? It just didn't seem practical to me. And I guess in a way, um, some people would say, oh, it's just so much easier than having to like pick up and move somewhere else. But I don't know why, it just seemed ridiculous to me. A lot of my furniture is super heavy. It was unable for me to move out of my apartment on my own. I lived on the third floor. There was no elevator. It was just a mess. So the day that I got that email, I decided to come look at apartments. It was literally instantly. And I went on apartments.com, I typed in a specific county, and my apartment that I'm in right this second was the first apartment that came up. I called, I showed up, and I pretty much signed the lease the same day. And when I tell you guys, I have found the most rare, unicorn, beautiful, large, spacious, amazing apartment. Not only did I move into a bigger apartment, which I thought was not gonna be possible because my last apartment was, I wanna say it was 1,200 square feet, and for Jersey, that's pretty big. Um, I ended up getting, my apartment now is 1,400 square feet, so it's pretty big in my opinion. And I just think that it is like the biggest blessing that ever happened to me was that I barely had to do anything. I manifested to always have an apartment that felt like a home and I got that. It was insane. So whatever like life wanted for me was clearly here because I didn't want to leave. I wanted to stay where I was, but I found something better and I found it very easily. And I just feel like I was leading my life with an open mind and an open heart and like more, um, I wasn't as closed off maybe as I was in the past and I found something better and I moved to a better town, a better county. I live in a very affluent area, which I think is just absolutely incredible. I've been able to network and meet so many incredible people since living here. And it's been like the best move of my life. Like I probably will just be here for so long. I feel so blessed to find this place. So I wanted to use this time to share with you guys that my first manifestation was to always have a beautiful home-like apartment and I found that. So that's the first thing. So we're gonna quickly um, cut to this part of the video and talk about better health. And I think it's so important to manifest, you know, a healthy mindset and happiness. And I think it's just really important to touch on. So I wanted to touch on it today. Thank you so much, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this portion of the video. And let's just get into it. So if you guys are not familiar with BetterHelp, it's essentially an online 
platform for you to seek therapy and be able to talk to a licensed therapist at your own you know regard depending on if you need somebody weekly or monthly to make yourself feel happier and better or if you just want to have to do talk about something or release something off of your chest it's a great way to access somebody without having to leave your home without having to sit in an office you can just access it from your home you can do video or phone call and this is going to at least for me, I, I agree to think that therapy is so important. Like I think that therapy is what's gonna get you into a really great place mentally in your life. I was in therapy my entire life. I've talked about this so much and it has really helped with my burdens, with my trauma and with everything that just was stunting me from growing as a human being because just having somebody who isn't you know, biased listening to you and being able to understand you on a level where you just feel like you need to get something off your chest is to me so crucial in your life and I think that we should all talk about how important it is to have a therapist every once in a while to help guide us in the direction of happiness. I also want to say that it is Men's Mental Health Month, isn't it? Men's Mental it Health. Is. It is. It's Men's Mental Health Month. So if you are a man watching this, I want you to understand that it is not weird for you to seek a therapist. I think that it's so important, no matter if you are a man or a woman, it is so important for you to do something for your own happiness. And if you are struggling in any way, it's just the best way to do it. Um, I wanted to also say that if you do want to access better health, they will have somebody with you in at least 48 hours, which is a great thing. Like it's very fast to the point and you don't have to wait around forever. They also will put a therapist with you that matches um, your own needs and wants. So if let's just say you don't like the therapist you talked to last week and you want them to change it, they will change that for you. You can really find somebody who caters to what you're looking for and your needs. And I think that's a beautiful thing because it is, allowing you to have you know pickiness and choosiness with your own mental health i also wanted to say that it is worldwide so no matter where you live in the world you can access better health which is amazing so i wanted to be able to give my listeners 10 percent off i will put my link on the screen so you guys can test it out today if you haven't already um therapy is important your happiness is important let's put it first i want to live a happier life i'm sure you do too and this is going to help propel you in you know becoming the man or the woman that you want to be in your life because without your mental health and your happiness you really ain't got anything so i wanted to at least put that out there okay the next thing that i manifested was to have a new car so if anybody knows anything about my story they know that when i was with my ex we shared a car um we both um would drive a mini cooper the only reason why we shared a car was because i worked from home and he worked out of the home i literally did not drive anywhere so we shared a car for a very long time it was my car but we shared it I decided as of 2021, I wanted to get a new car and I wanted to get an SUV. It was something that I've been wanting for so freaking long. So I had on my vision board that I wanted to get a Porsche Macan. I was like, that's gonna be my car. I'm, I'm obsessed with it. I'm manifesting it, I'm putting it out to the universe. So I had on my vision board, I wanted a Porsche Macan. It was there, I was like, that is my car. And it's so funny because both my parents drive Porsches so it was something that I kind of feel like I was being pushed on a little bit. Once I moved up here to my apartment, I got settled, I unpacked my life, I went and got a car. So I moved into my apartment in April. Um, April what? I'm trying to think. April 13th, I think I moved here. And I started looking for cars in May. I went to the Porsche dealership that's up here where I live, and I was walking around the dealership, and nobody came up to me for about 40 minutes. Literally, I felt so disrespected and unseen. And I'm not trying to like make a big stink about it because I didn't. I was so kind and I just ended up leaving. But I felt like, wow, I am not giving my money to a car dealership that like literally wants nothing to do with me. Like, I guess they just didn't think I could afford the vehicle. They probably were like this young girl walking around. Like we're not even giving her the time of day. And it was dead, by the way. So there was a lot of representatives that were in there that could have easily like sold me a car that day and I was ready, like I had my money ready because this was the car that I wanted. And I don't know why, something just told me to leave. I don't know what it was, my intuition told me to leave. I came home, I was a little sad because, think about it, this was a manifestation that I was manifesting for so long and I could have went to a different Porsche dealership, I could have, you know, went and took my business elsewhere, but I ended up just saying, you know what, let me go home and look at other cars while I'm here. Like I'm gonna look at other vehicles. And I didn't find anything that I wanted. And there was, cause I was looking for a used car and I didn't find anything that I wanted. And one day, I think it was like a Tuesday, I said to my ex, um, let's go look at Range Rovers because I love Range Rovers, but 
I don't know if like they're for me. I'm not really sure. Let's just at least go and look. Um, I had no intention of buying a car. I had no intention of, you know, leaving the, the, the lot that day with a vehicle. And guess what, guys? I did. I found my dream car. And I mean this. I didn't waver. I didn't, um, I didn't make any sacrifices, which is insane. All the things that I had written out, I wanted cream interior. I wanted an SUV. I wanted something that was kind of sporty. These were all things that were on my list. I walked into the Range Rover dealership and the first car that I saw that was literally in the front in the showroom is my car. It was right in the front. It's insane. I didn't even have to go in the back and look. I did for a second because I felt like, okay, maybe I should, maybe I should go in the back and at least look at what they got. But I bought a brand new 2021 Range Rover Velar S, okay? It was actually cheaper than a used Porsche Macan, so I felt like I was getting a deal. And I got everything I wanted. I got the cream interior. I got the beautiful luxury design. I got a gorgeous sporty color. I got black rims. I got it all. Like, I feel so blessed. And this was something that I manifested for so long. Now, what I want to say about manifestations, sometimes you manifest something very specific like a car and you end up with a different car, but it has everything you've wanted and more. And I wanted to make sure that I included that in today's video because I wanted you guys to understand that I didn't manifest a Range Rover. I always knew I liked it. I always knew I wanted one eventually. I just didn't think it was in the cards for me at the moment, but um, I ended up getting it and it's just amazing. Like, I love this car so much. And I left being the first owner of the car, I had no miles on it. It's my vehicle, I bought it with my own money, I own it and it's literally mine, which is to me like, wow, a life goal to own a luxury vehicle, it is mine, like I'm not leasing it, not like it matters, but I'm just saying like this is something that I've always dreamed about doing and I was able to do it easily on that random Tuesday. So, power of manifestation, baby. Oh shit, hold on, Land Rover's me. Hello? Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. Kid, I got your truck all finished up. Oh, great. Um, I got the invoice on my phone. Am I, do I have to, I'm going to pay it there though, right? Yeah, you can pay it here. It's just if you want to pay it ahead of time. Oh, okay. All right. I'm going to come get it in probably like a half hour if that's okay. Anytime before 8 p.m. is fine. Okay, I'm great. You. Thank you so much. No problem. Anytime. Uh, bye. Um, I just want to quickly touch on the fact that I have two dogs. Um, yes, I manifested them. I believe I said this in the last manifestation video, but I'm going to talk about them again because they are my family. I bought two Siberian Huskies. They are my pride and joy. I wanted these dogs for years. I had it saved in my Pinterest board since like 2012 that I wanted Siberian Huskies. Never did I think I was going to end up with a chocolate one or a sable colored one, but I ended up with two really rare, beautiful, um, unheard of Huskies. And they are healthy and beautiful, and I wanted to at least say that. Um, okay, another thing that is so important to me and that I always wanted was a personal assistant. Now, I have a really crazy story for you guys about this. So, I have wanted a personal assistant for as long as I've been a YouTuber because I always thought it was like a cool idea to like have an assistant, but I never actually needed one, to be honest. Like, I was able to do everything myself for a really long time, and I didn't need any help. And when it was time for me to hire somebody, I wanted to make sure that it was going to be worth hiring somebody for so a lot of the things that i was doing in my um extra hours that wasn't really helpful to my channel but i needed to do i wanted to hire somebody for and i actually put out on instagram like a little um i want to say like a story post saying i'm looking for a personal assistant um send me your you know your information if you want to do it and i will you know reach out to you and i had no idea what this was going to look like because think about it the you guys follow me you guys are my subscribers i didn't know how that was going to go like hiring a subscriber to be an assistant so i got like literally like 60 applicants which was insane so i decided that i wanted to do something different than an interview process because as much as i think interviewing is great i really wanted to see somebody's skills put to the test because i know that my assistant would need to have a, like a creative skill set for me to really want them to work you know well with me because i just don't think that somebody being interviewed is really going to help me understand like your creative um side and being able to actually physically see it so instead of having an interview i told all these applicants that you guys have to send me like an entire um crazy thing i asked them to do so many things i can't even remember exactly what it was but it was like i told them to make a mood board of how you think that my instagram should look um to uh what else did i say for you to do do you remember it was a mood board it was stories and to edit some photos okay edit photos and stories my assistant's with me right now by the way um <laughs> so i ended up only getting out of the 60 applicants i only got six back i think six people came back 
with the things, which made me think, okay, this is good because I was onto something here. Like the rest of the people probably just didn't want to do it. It was just too much work for them. So I was so nervous about hiring somebody and come to find out my assistant, I knew in a previous life of mine, which is crazy. She and I actually went to hair school together and you were an educator. Mm -hmm. She was an educator and I was a student. Okay. And it's just crazy to think that she actually did it the best out of everyone. It wasn't like I picked her because I knew her. Because if anything, that would have probably been more of a reason for me to not pick her. Because I always get nervous that somebody that knows me, they have ulterior motives with me, whatever and whatnot. But she actually did the challenge and what I asked for them to do the best out of everyone. And you sent me back the thing oh, yeah. in like hours. Yeah, I think you said like three days or something. I told, every, no, I gave everyone a week. Oh, yes. I was. gave everybody a week to finish this and she gave it to me, I wanna say it like the next day. It, yeah, I think or like, maybe that day. Midnight or like something like Yes, so she submitted hers back fast and it looked good. But I'm thinking, okay, well, okay. So she sent me this back. All right, I'm gonna go see what everyone else does and then I'll reach back. So a week later, I only got six um, total and hers was the best and I said, okay, she's prompt She's good at what she does She takes you know pride in making sure that she you know gets things done and does them right and um, Answers back like you know appropriately like I feel like some people they kind of ghost you a little bit and I hired her and now I have a personal assistant for almost a year now and it's insane and I feel so blessed and privileged because she helps me with so much like a lot of the things that you guys don't get to see behind the scenes of like setting up and um, answering emails and talking to my managers and all that is everything that she does for me so I feel so blessed that I was able to have, you know, a personal assistant being that I'm 24, live on my own, and who even am I to be having anything cool like that? But I do, so. Love I'm that. I'm crying over <laughs> <laughs> um, Okay, and the last thing that I, or I have two more things for material things. I know, guys, I've been talking for a while, but this is a long video because I really want to touch on it. I want to inspire you guys to manifest things because I'm telling you, they always come true. Um, the next thing that I wanted was a private chef. So this always comes in different ways for me. I actually wanted a private chef to cook for me literally every day it was something that i've always wanted i know that sounds very bougie and obnoxious and luxurious and i've realized now that it is really ridiculous and that's why i cook every day but so i'm hosting friendsgiving this year and i hired a private chef to essentially give me and my friends an exclusive thanksgiving feast all vegan a vegan chef is going to be making my friends vegan food for thanksgiving for friendsgiving i should say again like beyond my wildest dreams and actually this is year two that i did this i did this last year and i'm doing it again this year and this year i did it even bigger so my friends are going to be when they see this menu i'm not sharing the menu because i want them to be surprised when they see this menu they're going to be like Haley, you outdid yourself and don't worry guys i'm vlogging i'm vlogging it and the last thing i want to quickly touch on is just my lifestyle in general i've always manifested to be able to be financially free i don't want to feel like i'm living you know above my means i hate the idea of that I want to be able to, you know, spend money as I please, be able to save, be able to spend, be able to do, be able to always participate in things. And I never want to feel like I'm, you know, being tightly like, you know, twisted. And after my breakup, it was kind of like a crazy hit because I had, a, you know, a second income in the house. I was so worried after my breakup that I wasn't going to be able to like, I don't know. I never thought I wasn't going to be able to stay afloat financially, but I guess I just felt like I wasn't take a big hit. And in a way I kind of did, but my mindset has really allowed me to keep going. I've been working harder than ever and everything's gonna be great and fine and I'm becoming the most financially free that I've ever been in my entire life and it's crazy. So I wanted to at least put that out there that you know your life changes, things happen and you can still stay above water you know, depending on your mindset. And that is the key thing to you know becoming the woman, the man that you wanna be, manifesting the life that you want. It's your mindset, your positivity, your outlook, and you know, practicing gratitude. These are all ways that you are going to be able to get everything you want and desire. Okay, the next thing I wanna talk about is mental manifestations. Um, this is something that's really important because material things are great, but our mentality is really what gets us where we need to be. So I'm gonna go through a couple of things that I manifested um, as an adult that I find extremely important. So something that I manifested um, as an adult and especially this year was to be a more sound and rational human being. Um, my whole life I've been like the most reactionary person I know. Um, somebody could easily upset me. It could be like, I could be like explosive and crazy. And this year I decided like peace of mind, being more sound, being rational, being smart um, has 
really brought peace into my life. Not only does it bring peace into other people's lives so they don't have to deal with me, but um, it brought peace into my life because I'm happier because of it. And I wanted to just say that, you know, manifesting like a better mindset, being a better human being overall, really allows you to draw in the life that you desire because if you're desiring positivity and great things well you can't have that when you're a negative human being and somebody who is just always you know being problematic and having issues and all that so i wanted to just at least say that and i have been manifesting that so another thing that i thought was so important when it came to my mental manifestations was being mentally okay um no matter what came my way. Um, I, I don't know if you guys can relate to this, but I've always felt like I was the type of girl who would crumble um, when something crazy happened in my life. So for instance, if I got into like an accident on the parkway, let me not say an accident, but let's just say, you know, I, I popped my tire. It ruined my whole week. I would be depressed, I'd be sad. Why me, oh my God, why would this like, you know, I was always like that. And I wanted to manifest a more clear mind, a more grateful mind and wanting a more just happier thought process when going through crazy life events. So uh, if you guys have been following me, you guys already know, and I brought it up probably a million times, you know, in all these videos, but I want to bring it up because it is relevant. Um, I did go through a breakup and I have had so many people DM me being like, you are doing so well for somebody who just went through a breakup. And the truth is I am doing so well because I'm choosing happiness every day. And I'm not saying that like, you know, it's easy, but I do think that it is productive. I find that my happiness is, is, is being productive and it's, it's helping me get through the day and it's helping me be more grateful. And I feel very, um, I just feel like a more, well-rounded human being when my mental health surrounding you know my life and the changes in it is in a positive place um i could be harping i could be really sad i could be like oh man but like i wanted and i manifested to be okay no matter what like you know happened to me and i find that it's been really helpful and therapeutic and great i also wanted to end off on a more spiritual note um meditation, prayer, reading, self-help books, these are all ways that you can touch your spirit in a manifestation type of way where if you wanna manifest happiness or wealth or wellness, whatever it is, you can do it through spiritual outlets like those things. Um, right now, my spiritual guide has definitely been two things. It's been prayer and it's been reading and it's actually technically three things, meditation. I have never enjoyed meditating. I always thought it was weird. This part in my life, like in this particular journey of my life, I've actually really enjoyed it. And I wanted to at least touch on that because if you have been struggling with meditation, maybe try different meditation apps and you might be able to get into the swing of it like I have. Um, I've been using the Calm app and I also like to use just meditation guides on YouTube and I will link them in the description box if you guys want some as inspiration. Um, but your spirit needs to be well. It just needs to be in a good place. Um, and anything that is meant for you is gonna happen for you. And everything that's, and anything that's not meant for you um, it just won't happen. Just like I told you guys earlier about the Porsche, it wasn't meant for me. And I really felt that in my heart of hearts, like every time something doesn't happen for me, immediately I feel, oh, that wasn't supposed to be like that because everything else has always came a little bit easier or hasn't had so much resistance. So if something is having so much resistance, unless I really want it, unless it's like a job that I've been wanting for forever or it's something that I don't see my life without, I am not fighting it. I'm gonna let the universe do its thing and I'm gonna do my part by being consistent, by putting out the good vibes, by doing whatever I need to do to get it. But if it's not meant for me, it ain't gonna happen and that's just life and I've been okay with that. Hopefully this video inspired you guys to start manifesting more, to start you know, creating the dream life that you've always wanted. I know for me, I am currently living my dream. Um, everybody that knows me knows I am a genuinely happy person. They're always like, oh my God, girl, like how do you you know, live this happy all the time? And it's because everything I wanted and prayed for, I got. Anything that I manifested, I received. And it, all it took was consistency, gratitude, um, constant love, positivity, and respect to myself and others and just being a compassionate, good human being. And I, genu I genuinely think that when you're all of those things, good things just happen for you. And hey, like you might be going through some shit right now, but you're gonna come out of it a better person. Everything bad that we've ever been through in life has always made us better, it's never made us worse. So I genuinely just want to put out the good vibes, make you guys understand how important it is to um, manifest things, because if you don't manifest anything, then it's like, to me, it's like you're not even putting your goals out there. So. 
that's just my thought. Um, let me know down below if you guys have manifested anything recently um, that you have received. And I would love to hear from you guys. And if you haven't already, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.